and we're different heights, baby. How are we gonna make this work? You're too short. I'm too tall. We could frame differently. Oh, you want me to fold you? Okay, I love you. Mwah. That's a good idea, B. I'll hold you. Hi. Where have we been, my bobs? Oh, I'm sorry. You're the only one that needs to be in the shot, not me. <laughs> yeah, I know. We haven't been on camera in a while. Oh my goodness. You're so excited to be back on the YouTube, aren't you? So, pardon my dogs in the background, but they're crazy. Mm. Yeah. So, right, we have not really been doing a lot of videos lately. Do you want to tell them why, Bobs? I'm sorry, I need to stop talking. <laughs> You're crazy. So the reason that we've been not doing so many videos is that... <laughs> is that I started working on my own nutrition coaching business online. I'm super, super excited for this because it's exactly, exactly what I wanna do with my life. I hired a mentor to help me set up the business and it's gonna be great. And I'm gonna leave my clinical job, which I'm not so happy about. So right, that's where we've been. Um, I obviously missed our seven month update, which he will be eight months next week. And I wanted to jump on here and do like a seven slash eight month update. But first, we had 4th of July this week. And so Bobby was being really cute. She did really good. And here's what happened on 4th of July. Look at that cutie. Bobby May's first 4th of July. Oh, you're so sweet. She's playing with her Captain America today to celebrate America. We are cooking up some bratwurst and onions and peppers and got some fruit salad and we got some fireworks and it's gonna be a fun evening. But I may got a little bit of a nap in the car so hopefully she can stay away for fireworks. <laughs> oh, yes you will. Yes you will. She got cooking. Cookies, hot dogs, bratwurst. Ooh. Yummy. How are you feeling? Hot. You look hot. Yep. What's the Bob doing? She's a kicking. You're a kicking. And there's stairs there. Mmm, how's that, Bob? How's that pepper tasting? <laughs> What'd you like? Oh. Mm. You didn't grab enough. Oh, there <laughs> What do you think? Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Hey cutie, mm -hmm. you want some mustard? Yeah, it looks like what's on there cooking. Look at her not trusting me at all. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> mustard. <laughs> All right, you ready? Are you ready? Ready? Here we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
she stayed up. Oh, <laughs> she might be tired now. She stayed up like extra late 4th of July. She only cried one time during all of the fireworks and she just did really, really good. And it was really fun. Then yesterday was just like another really good fun day. It was Saturday, so me and Chris were both off of work. <laughs> you had fun, didn't you? And we made some pineapple cobbler and hung out and it was just a good day. So this is yesterday. You put my eye out, I bring you pizza. <laughs> Would you like some pineapple? Uh, yeah. It doesn't taste like pizza. Sir. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I'm super sure about that one. That's good. Yes, sir. Well, going back for bite number two. Mmm. Bobby. <laughs> like that? That's one way to do it. Hey. Mm. Mm. What do you think, Chris? Ice cream. Hands. <laughs> That's nice and warm though. Yeah. Mm. Bobby, put it in your mouth. You'll get the full experience. <laughs> oh man, come on! Now that you're all caught up to today, Bobby's seven slash eight month update. So in the last two months now, almost, she has definitely perfected sitting. Obviously she is very good at sitting. She can even like go to her belly on purpose. You want to show? Can I take this away without you crying? Go get it. Go get it. Um, <laughs> 
and she can also vocalize when she's not very happy with me. <laughs> Look at you, cutie. Hey, little one. She's working, working on crawling. I mean, she's not really like on all fours yet, but she will stick her butt up in the air sometimes. I honestly think that she'll have it within the next couple of weeks. We also, which is super exciting, we're doing like a baby development class with a physical therapist that specializes in um, babies, young babies and toddlers. And not there's nothing, literally nothing wrong with her. It's just um, she does this class to help parents like learn how to optimally develop their baby's motor skills. She looks sleepy. I'm sorry, you're sleepy. <laughs> I'll hold you. Come here. You don't want to show going to belly? That's okay. That's okay. Come here. Um, even though she's not crawling, doesn't mean she's not mobile. She will... Yeah, she, she just wanted me to help her get to her belly. That's all. She will roll to get wherever she's going. And then she'll like turn herself on her belly and then roll in the direction she wants to go. And then turn herself and roll... Yeah, it's it's a way of her moving. Not the most effective one, but it works for her. <laughs> Cutie, in case you couldn't tell by these rolls, she is eating like a champ. She tries like so many different kinds of foods. Um, we're doing baby led weaning and she's been doing pretty good with learning how to spit the food out. Of course, we've had a couple gagging incidents that, you know, some look a little bit scary, but no choking. No choking. High five. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. That's her new trick, is she can give a high five. Um, so, what else? Her, um, oh, one cool thing is we switched to cloth diapers, so we've been using those for about a week now, and I feel like I'm still in the learning curve of them, but she's, we're doing pretty good. I'm excited, because I'm ready to not have to buy disposable diapers. And feel like I'm doing something good for the planet. Speaking of diapers, she has not been pooping like very much. I mean, it's like one to two times a week. I'm sorry for talking about your poop. It's just a baby thing, okay? She's embarrassed. She's going away. <laughs> hey. I, she's usually like extremely vocal. She's being extra quiet right now though. She's being quiet. Yeah, you're being really quiet. <laughs> she really wants this camera. She loves electronics, screens, and all the things that I don't really want her to love. <laughs> of course. She also really loves music. Um, her favorites include country, mostly, like Leanne Rimes, Garth Brooks, Chris Stapleton. That, like, old school sounding country. She loves it. She also, I'm very, very proud of her, loves the new Taylor Swift song. Calm down, please. You need to calm down. You're being too loud. Sammy Duke. Um, she's been in like an awesome, awesome mood for like, I don't know, the last few weeks. I don't think that we've really hit any leaps or anything. So she's just been really happy. Um, sleeping about the same, but guys, but in the last two weeks, this little love right here has slept, wait, where'd you go? Ah, she slept through the night twice. Twice she has slept through the night. I mean, it wasn't two nights in a row or anything. So I think this is just, you know, not something that's going to be regular quite yet, but something that maybe, maybe could be on the horizon in the next couple of months. Your mama would really like that, you know? 
I think she may be fairly sleepy right now. So camera battery died. Bob's going down for a nap. And I say it that way because we are trying to nap in the crib. So far I've had one successful 30 minute nap in the crib. But usually it's just her laying in there, playing with her stuffed animal until she cries and I go get her and then we sleep in the bed together. That's, I guess, another like sleep update is Bobby is now sleeping in the bed with me, which is, I know, not recommended by like safe sleep standards, but, but she is like very strong, very aware. She, like, if you put a blanket on her face, she's immediately pushing it off. She's pretty mobile. I honestly, as a mom, I feel comfortable with it, and that's enough for me. And she sleeps well, and it's really easy to feed her when she's sleeping right next to me. So. Right now, though, she is not sleeping. She's doing this. We'll see. So, um, yeah, that's Bobby's seven slash eight month update. She's, oh, wait. I did forget something that happened yesterday. Nope, Friday. Um,. Chris had brought her up to my work during my lunch so that I could feed her and I definitely noticed that she got spots again. And this time she didn't have a cold or anything beforehand, it was just the spots. And so I was a little bit, you know, worried because they seemed to come out of nowhere. She did though, another part of the update that I forgot, get a new tooth. It's, it's just poking through a little bit, but yeah, she did get a tooth. Um, I'm thinking maybe that's where the spots came from. Um, right, so we're sitting here, like I see the spots and there's quite a few of them. They look exactly like they did last time. And I'm just, the last time we went to her pediatrician, she said, if she gets them again, you need to call. And we, of course we were pretty nervous about calling, understandably, um, but I did. I called, we went, the nurse practitioner that saw us, she spent so much time with us, was so, so incredibly nice. So much like, I understand why you guys came in. I understand where the worry is, but I'm not worried about these spots at all. She's like, they're so small and so light, she said, I honestly don't even think that we have to do blood work, which in my mind, like, best case scenario was that Bobby was gonna get poked and they were gonna say it was nothing. Worst case scenario was, well, yeah, what happened last time. Um, but yeah, she didn't even poke her. She's like, I'm not worried about these, so I will draw blood if you all want me to, but I don't feel like I need to. And I was like, well, heck, you're the doctor. If you say no blood draws, I'm, please do not stick my child. She did though get her height and weight and Bobby's up to 17 pounds, 13 ounces and 27 inches, maybe. <laughs> I say that because she had me hold the top of the tape measure and when she pulled it, like I felt like my arm moved a little bit. So she might be like a little half quarter, half inch taller than that. But the only, and I say that because on her height chart, she had been like shooting up to the 90th percentile and then at her four month, she went down to like 70th and this one she's down to 50th. So I'm wondering if I might have just not held the tape measure very well but yeah she's 27 inches 17 pounds 13 ounces put her around the 50th percentile for both um but i do i think she might be a smidge taller anyways that is my bobby may i know this video is probably kind of long but it's just because i know i'm not gonna be able to update as often because i am so so busy she has not turned herself sideways and is kicking the side of the crib by the way um, yes, yeah, so that's why it's a nap. <laughs> yeah, so, because I'm like, I'm working, I actually even picked up extra days, I don't know why I'm, I'm crazy, I should never have done that, but uh, I'm so bad at saying no, I mean, a lot of people are, yeah. But anyways, in, in all of my spare time, I do, like, work towards my business, work towards nutrition coaching, and if that is something that you're at all interested in, if you want me to maybe post, like, health nutrition related videos on YouTube, like comment down below, let me know or give this video a thumbs up and I will um, start putting some of that kind of content on here. Cause I mainly obviously just use it for like baby stuff cause I want to be able to record my little baby um, and keep those memories. But yeah, I will also, I'll link my Facebook group down in the description too in my Instagram page because I that's where I'm posting all of the like the content and if it's something you're interested in, you might want to check that out too. That was my little plug for my nutrition business and I will hopefully be able to get on 
hear and post about Bobby pretty frequently, but my goal is at least once a month to keep up with this. So I can at least watch her grow too, like in back in videos and stuff. Obviously, I'm watching her in real life. <laughs> All right, I need to stop talking. Bye. Thank you.